Hello and welcome to the Paper Papillion. My name is Antoinette Bay and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Lindbergh, New York. I'm going to use some very pretty products this evening. Um, first being Dahlia Days. Uh, it's a beautiful stamp set in the uh, mini catalog that we have going on right now, which is right here. Let me just bring that over so you know what I'm talking about. So this is the mini catalog that this comes from, and I will bring you to the page that it's on so you know what I'm doing or what I'm using. Um, sorry, I didn't have this. It's on page 35 of this catalog, and I'm going to grab it right here. So this is it right here. Dahlia Days, and the dies are right down here. It has this big lace die that we're going to use today. And it's all these pieces, and then the big lace die is in here as well, and here it is. So we're going to be using that today, along with tasteful labels. There's just one die from this that we're using today. And if you have any questions about the products I'm using, it will be in the link below. And here is my email address. If you have any questions, we're using Magenta Madness. Now, Magenta Madness is a an in color 2020 to 2022. So it's retiring next month or yeah, it's retiring and it's going to sell out soon. So if you have the ink pad and you need any of the other accessories, maybe cardstock or the refill so you have an, a refill for this for the future um, a stamping right marker blends you might want to get that now this is granny apple green and that's a, a core in color a uh, core color so that's staying this is the black and white gingham ribbon we're using that and that's also available so we're using some of the paper from the brights collection of designer series paper six by six 2020 2022 six by six in color designer series paper and we're using magenta madness for this project and i have a note here that says flowers and leaves that's where i'm going to stamp my flowers and leaves today and we are doing um two cards so here is one card here is the other let's start with this card first and then this is going to be for my Facebook Live. So you're watching this after my Facebook Live. So this will be for tomorrow night. You're, I'm filming this on Wednesday. And you'll be seeing this after my Facebook Live. Okay. So let's get started. All the measurements and the products that I've used today are on my blog post. And we're going to take a five and a half by eight and a half piece of thick white cards, basic white cardstock. We're scoring the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter, so half. Oops. Okay. Okay. And we'll take our bone folder. Now you're going to know that if you've watched me before, I forget a lot of things over on this table. So um, let's get started with, I want to think about what are, what are we doing first. I think the first thing we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. So we're going to take the black. And we're going to take our embossing buddy, if you have one, just to get some dust or whatever's on here off. And then we're going to take some Versamark, and that is over here, and my liquid glue. I need to bring that over. So we'll take some Versamark, and the sentiment we're using is going to be on this, thank you for your kindness. 
I'm using all of these almost, all of the um, sentiments. Thank you for your kindness. And we're going to use um, this piece here, the frame. I'll just put that here. So first we're going to do the frame. And we'll ink that up in burst mark. Actually, I like to go like this. Give you a good ink up. And then we'll stamp the sentiment in there. I hope I went far up far enough. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to get a little line on there, I have a feeling. For some reason, this stamp set, I've had to cut a lot. I've cut my stamps before and I cut around so that way I don't get a little line on my on my um, card stock. So this line I don't care about because it's getting cut, but I do care about the lines that you see on the inside. So I'm going to take my little putty and clean that up. Okay, so that's pretty much cleaned up. And you can also take your embossing buddy and clean it up a little bit too. But I don't want to do that on here because I don't want to wipe this off on the bottom. So that's good enough for me. So basically, if you have a little bit too much space around your, your stamps, like around here, there's too much, you want to cut as closely as you can to the image without cutting the image to get that white space off. That uh, rubber stamp off. Now we're going to heat to it. It's going to take a minute. You can lower your volume or fast forward this. Just take about 20 seconds. Don't go like this. It'll never dry. Just start at one end and then work your way through. that looks nice and dry to me and while we're at the um, stage of stamping we're going to stamp our second card too so that way we can get our stamping out of the way and the stamp that I want to use for that is you are beyond incredible so let me get another keeping it the same as my sample. And then we'll heat tool, get some embossing powder on there. Okay. And then we'll get the heat tool again. Things are just kind of falling down here. I have a light that is not on. There we go. That's better. I thought it was kind of dark. Okay. So we have the sentiments for both our cards. Now we're going to stamp some flowers. So now what I did was since I need leaves, these leaves, I put all three of the leaves on one stamp. And we're just going to do one set 
of leaves right here. Okay. And then we're going to take Magenta Madness. That was Granny Apple Green. Now this is Magenta Madness. And we're going to take one big flower. And I put the two smaller flowers on one stamp. And they're far enough away from each other that when we put it through the die cut machine, they won't overlap each other. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And that is all we need. So these are the parts that we're going to be die cutting. Let's put that to the side. Now I'm going to show you something I haven't ever done on a Facebook Live. And that is uh, use adhesive sheets. I've never used them before. But a lace die that is very intricate is a good place to start. So this is a uh, 12 inch long by, I think it's like 12 by six inches. And we are going to have to cut that down to four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to take my trimmer right here. We can move these now over. I'm going to take my trimmer. I don't need to open up my this piece here and we're going to cut this to four inches so I can get three sheets out of here so it's going to be four inches and I only need five and a quarter five and a quarter okay and we'll save this piece because you never know what you might need it for okay So these have these little slits in them. So first let's get the sheet. It's four, this is the a piece of white, basic white card stock. And we peel these sheets at the slits and it's all like adhesive right here. It's, it's all sticky, you can see that. So when you put this down, you just wanna be careful and make sure you get it nice steady hand right on top okay so now we're ready for all of our die cutting and we'll get that going with the die cut machine because i want to do um hold on I'm using my large die cutting machine because I want to cut things that are larger like this all at once. So we're going to take our dies. Oops, there goes my plate. We're going to take our dies. So let's take first the large flower and then leaves, the leaf pieces. I'm just off to the side here taking out my leaves. Um, a small one and a large one. I think these are, yeah, small and large. And then we have this leaf and one more leaf, which is down here. And then we have these tiny flowers also that I want to get in there. So the first thing we need to do is line all of this up. And sometimes it's easy and it goes really smoothly. And sometimes it's, you just got to really find it. Find like now, I'm having a hard time finding exactly got to spin it around a few times to find it. I need to mark my um, my dies. 
sometimes I have a hard time. Sometimes it's so easy. I don't know why, because I'm not really... How many times do I have to spin it around before I get it right? Where in the world? I'm sure you can see where I'm losing my mind here. Why isn't it fitting right? This is the right die. They're both the same. There's two in the pack. And they're both the same. So I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. I need to mark the right location. It should not take this long. Okay. I don't know why it is. Oh, there we go. You have to set it just right. I don't know what, how many times did I spin that around? So I need to mark this point with a, I'm going to do that right now. So it's easier to find. This is the point that I need to, to mark right in here. So I have to find this big flower right there. And that will help me line this up easier when I do my Facebook Live. Okay, so just put that down. This is easy enough. Put some washi tape down. I have some post-it note tape. But something that pulls up very easily is what you need. And this is... This one goes here, and this one goes here. Okay. That goes there. Oops, I moved it. This stays here. This is the larger one, and here we go again, trying to line that up. There we go, that's the right side. I did a bunch of these, and it was pretty easy, so I don't know why I'm having a hard time tonight with all it. Maybe I have everything a little bit too close together, and I need to fix that okay and I'm not putting my tape down hard enough either I think I'm just trying to have too many pieces on one sheet to run it through but it's taking more time to just get it set up okay and I don't want anything to shift while it's in the trimmer so there we go all right, this piece can go and save some paper right there. And now I'm going to take the cover and put it on. Wow, that took long enough. And I'll just bring it right back. It's a good thing I pre-did a lot of these, but I did want to show you that little trick about, well, I didn't plan that, but now you know the little trick about marking your marking your dies. Take them all off. these pieces. We take them all off. So there's these three little flowers. We're going to use those. And then we have these flowers. And I think we need some more little flowers. So I'm going to run that through again. And we'll put it right in there. And then we're done with the flowers. put the 
this to the side. Oh no, we need to die cut um, the sentiments. So let's get those on too. So one is going to get a die from Tasteful labels, and I don't want that to move. And one is going to get the die from this actual set, which is this frame right here. And it doesn't have to be perfectly around the flower because that flower is not going to be seen on the card, believe it or not. all my dies away so I don't lose anything oh we don't want to put this away just yet because we need to die the lace too so there's a bit of die cutting on this card and we're doing it just for one card because I prepped the rest and now here's the piece with the the glue so you want the piece your paper face up and your glued, your adhesive face down. And then you want to put this right on there. And this is gonna get run through a few times. We're gonna run it through at least three times, three or four times, back and forth, two or three times, two and then three and then four because it's not only going through sorry it's shaking the camera it's only going through cardstock now it looks pretty good but i want to be sure uh, it's not only going through cardstock but it's going through an adhesive sheet so i really want those bits to come out and the other thing you could do is when you have it lying down like this underneath here on here in the plate you could put a dryer sheet fold a dryer sheet in half and you'll see that um when it runs through all these little bits will stick to the dryer sheet i should have um done that i'll do it on my facebook live now that i'm thinking about it um that would have been a good idea now we can just take this off And I'm going to get my brush, and that's going to get all these bits out. This is the Take Your Pick tool, and it has different sides to it, pieces to it. And I have the brush piece, and then this is just like a spatula piece. And then I have another one of these, and I have like a, um, so now most of those came out because I ran it through so many times. So I didn't actually need the dryer sheet for that. Now, let's loosen it up and take it up, peel it off there. So then we're gonna peel off a corner and we might even need the spatula for that, but I don't think so. So this is the back with the adhesive and we'll be using that shortly too. Okay, let's put that away as well. Um, I don't know where my dies are. I don't know how things disappear when they're right in front of you. That's a pretty big piece of the... Um, here, here it is. Okay, put the dies away. All right, now we're going to get started on the card. So first, 
let's do the inside. And I just want to make sure it's the right size. So yes, that's the right size. And we want to take a piece of cardstock, of uh, uh, design series paper, and adhere that to the bottom. Okay. Actually, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. And then there's a little excess on the side. We'll get that off. So we'll take the pieces that we just die cut. And we need a little adhesive behind here. And we'll take one flower. All right. And then I'm going to take one of the ones, sorry, pardon my arm, and I'm just going to cut two of them. I just want two on the opposite side. And then we'll put the whole thing down on the inside. Mm, this is where I need my adhesive sheet. And we'll just kind of go like that. This could hang over just a little. And there's the inside. And then the inside of this card is going to have a sentiment as well. And it's going to say, you made my day. Grab that block. And I'm going to get some black memento for that. And I'm not going to get rid of this little leaf. I'm going to use it somewhere else at some point. And I should have stamped the sentiment first, but I think we'll be okay. You made my day and we are okay. See that black line? It's because there's too much rubber at the top. I need to cut all of these stamps in this particular stamp set down. Okay, and now this is gonna go on the Magenta Madness base. Like that. And that will go on the inside of the card. And it's only about an eighth of an inch trimmed down. Okay. There you have that. I forgot to do, did I do that earlier? Don't worry. About it. Okay, the next part is <clears throat> to take our strip here. And I'm not, I don't need the mat here because it's just one big. I'm going to come about half an inch, a quarter of an inch from the left, and we want it even on the top and the bottom. This is a three quarters by five inch strip right there. And this is where this wonderful adhesive sheet comes in. Now let's hope that it just peels back very, very nicely. And it appears to be doing so, which is nice. And that eliminates all that liquid glue stickiness that you get on your fingers. And that is perfect for this sticky sheet. I am very happy about that. You can even use this for something if you want to. You know, I'm going to save it. I can use that for something. Okay. Now we can put this together. So, like I said, this is gonna get covered up. I'm gonna take one big flower and cover it up. Okay, 
So on that, I am gonna use a little liquid glue on here to stick that down. It'll stick better, uh, I think. It'll stay on better with liquid glue. And then you just play around with it until you have it covering the spots you want to cover. And I am okay, okay with that. Okay. Then I'm going to take dimensionals. Actually, before I take dimensionals, I want to, you can even cut it off, actually. You can cut that piece off if you want to. If it doesn't line up perfectly the way you want it, you can cut it off. I don't trust myself to cut it off though, so I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave that like that for now. And we're going to actually throw some leaves in there. So what I should have done is put some leaves in before I started the project, before I put this, glued this down, but I can stick them in now. So I'm gonna go like that with one leaf, okay? And then I'm going to take this leaf and put put it right behind there, like that. Put a little adhesive there. Um, there's my adhesive. Put a little bit of adhesive right there. Get that going. And then... Now what I did on my original, I'm gonna slip that in here. So I cut one up. And I threw one in there. And we're gonna get some glue for this to adhere it all. Pull that up. This is where I needed to do this before I actually laid it out. Like that, just like that. One, two, I'm gonna make sure I have the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's good. Seven is good, I like that. I like that balance. And then we're going to throw another leaf here, like that. And then another of these, sorry, a couple of these right here, here and down here. One there, and one about down here, like that. And now we're gonna put dimensionals on. Quite a few, and I'm okay with that. I don't want to use the foam strips for this. And then that's going to go right in the middle. That. Hopefully that's pretty straight. And then we're going to take the larger. Now what I'm going to do is take my stylus and my foam mat and kind of take the fat end, create 
a little circle in the middle just to give the flower a little lift and do the same here so the petals kind of come up a bit okay and then we'll take some glue dots And this one will hide in there a little bit and this one will come down here a bit and then the little flowers again we're going to do the same thing and that is We want five. Just gonna give them all a little lift. And it just pushes the petals out. And then on these, we we'll put some liquid glue all around. So I'm gonna put one here. I'll put a big one right there. And then one right next to it here and here another one around here and then another one down here here's one here's another big one and then one right next to that and one right there and then we need some gems hold on um, i wonder if my open pack of gems were using the my favorite iridescent gems. I wonder if they're around here somewhere and I don't see them. But it doesn't matter because I need them anyway. Hold on. Okay, let's open a new pack. So we'll take the tiny ones, the smallest ones, and put them on the smaller flowers. They're still kind of big for the small flowers, but that looks just fine. Putting a lot of them on too. five and then the medium for these larger pink flowers magenta flowers i think that's a medium that i got i didn't grab a medium for that one i grabbed a small and we're not going to put anything on that one we're going to leave that one as is i don't like the big one on there so that's your card number one. Now, since we're not doing any die cutting, let's put this one to the side for now. This one will go quicker. Now, with the next one, we've already got everything die cut. And we'll score this. at once again four and a quarter on the eight and a half inch side we're scoring at four and a quarter okay. 
and we'll do the inside first. Actually, no, we'll do the outside first. So this is a piece of Magenta Madness designer series, in color designer series paper. So we'll just adhere, well, we're not adhering that down yet. So we've already done the lace through the die cut and behind here is the adhesive. Now, I don't want the whole adhesive to come off just yet. I want it to be just like this. Okay, part of this flower up here. So I'm going to trim this down right about there. I'm going to take my mini trimmer. Um, no, I'm not because I don't know where it is at the moment. So I'm going to take my regular trimmer. And I know just about where I want to cut it. So I want to see about three of these petals. And it's going to come right down to the middle of these two flowers. So that's about where I want to cut. So I'm going to put this in here, right in there. And then the two flowers are right there. And that is about where I want to cut. So I hope that comes out right. Yeah, I cut four petals actually. And that's all right, because we can cut that down some more. I more, want more of this. Okay, so now let's peel this off. Let me get a good section here. A good peel off section. So you definitely need nails or that spatula type. Um, and let me see if I can carefully do this also. So that way maybe I can save this piece too. It would be fun to maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna do something with that. And I only want to see about three. Make sure I'm flush. There we go. Very good. And that's perfect. I'm just going to cut that off. And that's just fine. And Perfect. So we're going to save this. Now we could have used this too, but this we're going to put on the inside. So why don't we do that now and put that on the inside and grab a good corner to peel this off somewhere. Okay. I'm going to be careful about that. And then put that in the corner like that. Why let that go to waste, right? Look how perfect that is. Just make sure it doesn't hang over the edge and it doesn't. And now before we put this down, we're going to take our gingham dip ribbon. Okay, I have a piece right here. It might be long enough to go around and it is. So I'm gonna go like that and add some adhesive both ends. Pull this a little bit more. And let's put that to the side. And that goes like that. So the next thing I want to do before I do anything else is put down my <clears throat> sentiment. I'm just going to do this and this for now. About there. I'm not going to push it too hard because I'm going to make sure my bow is going to be okay there. And then I'm going to take this and just tie a, a bow through it. I want it to be long. Oops. So this is pretty long. And I'll put that in there. Go like that. 
might be too long. Whoops. Let's see. There we go. So there's a nice long bow. I might have to play with that later, but for now, that's what it's looking like. Okay. And this is okay like that. So now, let's get some of these smaller flowers. And what we're going to do here is this is a bigger one. I'm going to put some adhesive back there. Put a leaf. Curl it up a little bit. And then that's for here. And then we want to get two smaller flowers. It's hard to tell that they, they are smaller, but they are. They are small. And you could do the same thing that I did earlier with just your fingers, too. Um, and then this can go here. Like that. I'm feeling like it doesn't need... Oh, I wonder if I should use these little flowers here. No, that doesn't look right. But I don't think it needs three flowers behind these leaves. I think it just needs two. Let's check that out. These flowers, I don't think it needs it. Let's put that one to the side. And let's just do one more. And then we'll get one more leaf. Actually, this will come in handy now, you see? Now the two, one that I cut earlier and the one that I cut now come in handy. Maybe just cut that a little bit. Perfect, see, no waste no waste at all so the bigger one is going to go right on top of here like that okay and i'm going to put that on with liquid um, glue dots let's secure that with glue dots Then this will go with dimensionals. Did I lose a leaf? No, I did not. Right here. And then this one will go with dimensionals. Down here. Okay, now we'll put this here. And I normally put some tape behind there and I forgot on top of the ribbon. Just lie that flat. This might need additional dimensionals, but for now we're gonna leave it. And then on the inside, we're going to add a leaf. A larger flower with the three leaves with the three leaves and then we'll just have it coming down from from there and then on the inside I did not put anything on the inside, but we could put um, You Are Beyond Incredible 
And you know what? I'm going to leave it blank. I was going to say to an amazing woman, but I'm going to leave it blank. Now, before we finish off this card, we're going to take some more gems. I'm going to use some more small gems right here and right here and here. Now, I needed some more of these white. Uh, actually, I'm going to use the opposite side. I have some that are um, already die cut. And I'm going to put the... They, I did do them in pink, but I don't want them in pink. I want them in white, the flowers. I'll put one here, one here, and another one underneath. Okay. So put that one underneath. You don't really see it, though, if I don't do the pink. So we'll do the pink side. We will do the pink side. And then I'll get one here. Yeah, that's better. These are the little flowers. I didn't stamp these for you guys earlier, but um, I will do it on my Facebook Live. And one more pink right there. And no gems on there because we have enough. Um, actually, I did put little gems on there. One, two, three, but I'm going to leave it just like that. No more gems, too much. Okay, so there you have it. There is card number one and card number two. And let's put this away so I can bring them both over. And you can see them both together. So if you don't join me on Facebook Lives on Thursday nights at the Paper Papillion, um, you might want to join me because I give away cards for everyone that joins and shares and comments on my on my page. Um, I do a drawing at the end of my live. So there, there you go. So here are the originals, exactly the same. I think I have a few more gems on, on my original than I do here. And then here's the original of this one, looking the same. Need to adjust my bow a little bit here, but that could be done later. But there you have it. Tomorrow night, or actually on my Facebook Live on Thursday, you're seeing this on Friday, I will